What's going on everybody? Ed here bringing you another tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be uh, fancy buttons for like your title screen. Uh, the way we're going to do it is as um, a user touches the button, the button will scale up and then scale back down when you let go. Alright, just adds a little bit of interactivity to the button, lets the user know that they're actually pressing in the right spot um, and something's going to happen when they do press on that. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we need to add the we need to add the touch object. All right, and we need to bring in some sprites for our buttons. So I have these already that I've used in one of my games. So there we go, and we'll name this button one. All right. And then we'll just clone this. All right. Button one, you know, maybe button two. And then let's add one more. Button three. All right, so there is our three buttons. All right, now we don't want to program each one of these buttons separately. That would be a lot of wasted effort. So what we want to do is we want to use a family. So I'm going to add all these buttons to my family. All right, I want to rename the family buttons. Okay, now in this family, we want to set an instant variables for the family. We want to have one named scale. That's going to default to one. And one called grow. And that'll also default to one. Okay, so we have our two instant variables of the family. Alright, and now we're ready to go into the coding. So what we want to do is we want to know that if I'm touching objects buttons, okay, and also if the instance variable of grow is set to 1, meaning if I'm touching it and the variable grow is set to 1, then we're going to want to make it grow or scale up. So in order to set our scale, we want to add to our instance variable of scale um, 0 0.08. Okay, this number will determine how fast it scales up, how how fast it grows. Okay. And then we want to set the scale of our family of buttons to that of our instance variable. Okay? Perfect. Now, we want the button to stop growing. Otherwise, if we, if we run it right now, you will see it just keeps growing. Woo! Alright, that's not what we want. Okay? So what we want to do is we want to add a sub event. That we want to compare the variable of scale, right? Oops, I'm sorry, it's already scale. So we want to compare scale is greater than or equal to, let's say, 1.2. All right, so we don't want the button to get bigger than that. Okay. And if it does get larger than that, we're going to set our instant variable of grow to zero. 
So now, if it's this, if it's larger than 1.2 in scale, grow is going to be set to zero, which means this will stop. Okay. So, what about if we stop touching it? Good question. So we want to add is in touching. Actually, we'll just use is in touch period. Okay. Just if, if we're touching the screen at all. But we want to invert this. So if we're not touching the screen, all right, we want to set the variable scale back to one, which is the default, right? We want to set the variable grow back to one, which is the default. And we also want to set our actual scale of our family back to one. Okay, so let's see how that works. There we go. See the buttons growing? Okay, so now if you want it to grow a little bit slower, you can set this to a lower number. And if you want it to get a little bigger, you can increase the size of this. Okay. That's all there is to it. That's all you need to do to make fancy buttons. Okay, so real quick, I also want to explain how, how you would use this and then have the button you click on, you know, take you to another uh, form or do an action. Uh, typically, if you just say when you touch the button to do the action, it's going to do it immediately and you're not going to see the button grow. So all you really need to do here is say, on event. Um, actually, let me create another layout real quick. Um, I don't need an event sheet. So let me just add um, something to this so we know. How about a big hand? Okay. So what we want to do is when we press the 1, we want to go to that other layout. So what we're going to do is we're going to say button Oops, I'm sorry. Untouched object. Um, in this case, uh, we'll just say button one, okay? Because each button's gonna do something different. So on button one, we want to go to layout two. Now if you just left it like this, here's what's gonna happen. You press one, so you're not going to see it actually grow the button. It's just going to go to layout number two. So to solve that simply, we just want to add a weight. Um, and the time of the weight is going to be based on how long it takes for your button to grow or how long you want it to grow before it goes. So we'll go ahead and try um, a half a second. Okay, see that? So that time it let me click it all the way down. That might have actually been a little bit too slow. So we can change this to uh, 2 5. There we go. All right. So there you go. That's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, have more tutorials coming soon. Thanks.